Today on CLC, we're going to show you how we installed our accessory switch panel on our CF Moto Z Force. So, this is where we decided to mount our switch panel. And as you can see, these screw holes don't quite line up with these screw holes. So, we're going to have to make these just a little bit wider. Alright, so next thing we're going to do is move on to the wiring side. As you can see here, we have our holes elongated. We've got some tools, we've got some heat shrink, we've got some uh, connectors, and we've got some wire. This is where I've been putting all my wiring connections. If you've ever taken one of these battery covers off, you know that uh, it's a pretty tight squeeze in there. So I've just been hooking up all my grounds here, and I've been hooking up all my powers here. As you can see there, I'm getting quite a collection of wires. So uh, that's why I wanted to get the switch panel, to make, clean that up, make everything a lot more simple. And uh, eventually, if we start getting more accessories, I'll probably put a secondary battery in, but for now, I think we're gonna be okay. Okay, we're gonna start inside the cab. You can see I've got our positive and our ground all taped together. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have Francie feed it through one of the existing holes in the firewall. Then we're gonna come grab it on the other side here. We'll get all this taped up real good and mounted. And uh, what we're gonna do is just, we're gonna run it down the firewall, hopefully through the uh, skid plate there, and then back up to the battery on the other side. Uh, we came down the firewall as we said we were going to. What I did was I ended up going through this hole here in the frame and I fished it through that. And from there, we came up over the battery. And we've got our excess here. So what I plan on doing is just putting a couple ring terminals on the end of this. Then we'll hook ground up here. We'll hook power up here. All right, so I went ahead and put some ring terminals and some uh, heat shrink on my power and ground wires. Now we'll go ahead and get those hooked back up to this bar that I showed you earlier. Okay, so we're back inside the cab now. We've got our uh, switch panel laying here. And there's two wires coming off the very side of it here. This will be your uh, ground wire. This is your positive wire. I went ahead and hooked that up to the wire that we have coming from the battery. This is the negative coming from the battery. I went ahead and put that one on uh, permanently. Uh, this is how I'm gonna do it. I think uh, the way they had this designed, they're wanting you to take all of your load wires, which like this wire here, that goes to my uh, light bar at the front of the rig. So what I think what they want you to do is you would just take this and uh, just ground it straight to the frame. I think I'm going to make all my connections under here just so I know I've got a little more waterproofing. So uh, I'll get that put together and we'll show you how that looks. All right, so just to review what we, uh, we did so far, uh, we've got our gauge hooked up. You can see it's showing voltage. So we took all of our grounds and tied them together. We got the ground for the switch, we got the ground for the battery, we got the ground for the light bar, and we took the power to the light bar and ran it to the first switch through the fuse. And we'll go ahead and flip the switch on and it should turn the uh, light bar on. All right, looks like we're good to go. We'll uh, get this all mounted and we'll show you what that looks like.
Ta-da, it worked! So if you found this video to be helpful, like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, bye!